Hi, I'm Gretchen with my husband Chuck, here on the island of British Virgin Gorda. Go get your snorkel gear, so we can swim and explore together. Here in Spring Bay on the western end of the island, I love to photograph and share this underwater neighborhood. Many different kinds of fish and marine creatures live right here. We've been coming to this place for over 20 years, and we've seen how it changes. First, let's learn about coral. Coral is the building block of reefs in the seas and oceans around the world. And it is alive, made up of millions of tiny creatures making a structure. Coral comes in hard and soft varieties. Some hard corals look like branching things like this staghorn coral. Also, elkhorn coral, which is very plentiful here in Spring Bay. Then there is pillar coral. And round-shaped brain coral. And a brain is just what it looks like. Soft coral is more like a plant. It can bend and sway as water and waves move through it. These beautiful colored fans and plant-like structures are soft corals. Here in Spring Bay, the corals attach themselves to the boulders, creating a perfect environment for fish and sea life. In September 2017, violent hurricanes passed over this area, destroying this island, and also harming the underwater world with tidal waves. A lot of the coral was destroyed and damaged, but I am happy to say it is now healing and growing back along with lots of new young fish. Over the years, one of the neighborhood residents I have watched grow up is Timmy the Turtle. That is what I call him. I discovered Timmy when he was just a youngster. You may ask, how does she know this is Timmy? Well, I noticed that Timmy had part of his shell missing over a back leg. Now I could identify him. Timmy knows me, too. I kind of make a humming noise and he comes up to investigate. Timmy is a hawksbill turtle. See his pointed beak like a hawk? And hawksbills have a distinct bright pattern on their bodies and shells. I also see green turtles on the other side of the island. No beak and not as much pattern on their shells. You can see the difference. Sea turtles are reptiles, like snakes and lizards, and they breathe air so they usually surface to breathe every hour or so. It is important not to chase or bother them. Sea turtles will rest under ledges, and they actually sleep for hours at a time, holding their breath. Afterward, they head to the surface for a gulp of air. This turtle likes to eat seagrass. 
And this hawk's bill, who looks like it's sitting at a lunch counter, uses its beak to get little sponges out of the coral. Besides hawk's bills and green turtles, there are five other types of sea turtles. It's fun to learn about all of them. These small fish, called rossi, keep other fish clean in the neighborhood. You see them everywhere along with bigger fish. And no one eats them. Because they perform a valuable service by setting up cleaning stations. Bigger fish wait in line and the Rossi cleaner fish work together, removing parasites, mucus, and damaged scales. They stay still while Rossi fish go over their heads, gills, and tail. By cleaning, these Rossi help the health of the entire neighborhood. Okay, what has big eyes and lips? And is now looking at me out of its cave. I used to call them big heads until I learned their real name was a porcupine fish. They do have little quills that stick out all over their bodies. See those dark spots? But they are poisonous and other fish and humans don't eat them or bother them. So they pretty much hang out alone. But here, I caught one out of his cave chasing a girlfriend. From the outer edge of the neighborhood, I see a big solitary fish. I usually see this fish in deep water and always alone. It's called an ocean-going triggerfish. But today, it is right up in the shallower water circling me. I am thrilled to see it up close, and it seems to want company. All the other fish gather around this triggerfish, and it gets just what it seems to want. This is a very fun sighting that made me smile. Stay tuned for more fun adventures.